I look like Wednesday. If you don't know the Adams Family, you're probably too young. Hey YouTube, that Brady chick here. So as you can see, I've been wearing my hair in a blow-dried state for the past 24 hours. <laughs> if you guys have seen my previous video on the Rev Air, you know that I did blow-dry my hair with my little prize that I won. Again, my Rev Air. And I really loved the results, but you know, it's really hard to maintain. Well, I find it hard to maintain blow-dried hair overnight. And there weren't many videos I noticed on how to maintain your blowout overnight either. So I just decided to put it in two little pigtails and um, put two silk scrunchies on the end just to secure them, but also to give them a little bit of a weight, you know, because they do move. They are mobile. Okay, but anyways, uh, just to give them a little bit of weight so that they don't just stick up like Pippi Longstocking. Another old cartoon reference. So what we're gonna do today, I wanted to twist my hair in its stretched state and put some beads on the end. So the other day I went over to BSW and I picked up some translucent beads and I wanted to try them out. I mean, as a kid, I always wore beads. I might just insert some pictures here if I have pictures of that but yeah I used to wear beads all the time as a kid and I see that they're kind of coming back in style and I kind of wanted to try it out I'm not really the type to follow trends or whatever but this one I'm kind of interested in so let's see what happens okay so we'll just jump right into it so I'm just gonna take out my scrunchies here oh yeah that's also something else I have to do today is I have to trim it because sis is not gonna get away with these split ends mm -mm. Is this a braid out? Is this a look? But yeah, it definitely needs a trimmer. I don't know, I kind of like it and then I kind of don't. You know, if you look at it too long, you might not like it. I don't know, that's just me. I mean, I could go, no, no, I'm not even gonna consider it. I was gonna say I could go to work like this tomorrow, but honestly, no. Nah. No, nah, my hair needs to be twisted up, okay? It's about damn time for it to be twisted up. So I'm not really sure how small I want the sections, but I kind of like when I have the sections tiny and concentrated. Okay, where's my rat tail cone? I need my rat tail cone. My tail rat cone. I wish I just trimmed when I first blow dried, cause sis, I'm kind of struggling here. <laughs> Oh, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. There it is. Sorry, I just realized I'm recording a whole video. Okay, y'all. I don't know what to do. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. And I don't think this whole thing is going to take that long anyways. This is how much I just cut off, by the way. I know something you don't. You know what? Let me not give myself a lot to edit. Hold on. All right, guys, I've decided to go back to it. I know I'm going back and forth. I'm so sorry. Instead of just doing it manually, I'm actually going to use one of these bead tools. I've seen some beaded videos on YouTube. What they do is they put the beads in from this end all the way down to the bottom. And I think they bend the hair like that. And then they kind of push the beads up and onto the hair like that. So as you're pushing, you're also pulling down the bead tool. Right, then they let go, perfect. Now all the beads are on, so you just bend the end of the hair, bend it up, and then take your little elastic band and wrap it around. So you're kinda gonna do a bit of a figure eight. That's how it would look basically. Well, that's not bad. All right, so before we jump into our montage, I just wanna let you guys know, first of all, I'm sick. <laughs> so excuse my voice. Um. Uh, yeah, so just a little recap. I pretty much sectioned off my hair with a rat tail comb, as you can see there. And later on, I applied gel to my roots just to kind of lay it down a little bit neater. And then from there, I two strand twisted most of my hair. Although in the front, I did do those two braids as three strand braids instead of two strand twists. So that was just a preference thing. You don't have to do that, but yeah. So for the, the majority of my hair, I two strand twisted it, and then I uh, put the beads on a beading tool. Then I bent my hair underneath the opening of the beading tool, slid the beads onto the length of my hair, slid the first two beads up to the very top so that I'm only exposing the third bead, which is at the bottom. Then I bent the very bottom of my own hair over that third bead, 
and then secure it with a black elastic. And that's pretty much what I did all over my head. Hope that makes sense. I might just twist the rest of the hair because it's just easier that way. I'm sorry, all these braids, ain't nobody got time for that. So that's the end. Okay, and then we're gonna put our little beads on it. Okay, so remember, put three beads on it or however many you would like to. And three. Also, I take no credit for this partial bead tutorial because I learned from, I honestly can't remember her name to be honest, but I'll probably link it above somewhere. But yeah, I learned from her. So go check out her channel if you can, or just keep watching and just know that I'm giving her credit because this is nothing to do with me, it's all her. She posted an excellent, excellent, excellent tutorial on this and I'm just following suit because I didn't know how to apply beads before this. So I think this gel probably wins. I'm not gonna use this one for now. I'm just gonna keep using the ice curls for the girls. So for this one, I, oh. How long is this going to take? This is a look, right? I can go to work like this. Go little rock star. you want to see how much I actually cut off it's this much this was pretty much cut off from the ends of my hair and to be honest it had to go it had to go okay so it is now the next morning yes I woke up like this no for real though oh what is that okay better this is how my hair is looking I don't know if I told you guys but I tried to make it a little bit smaller in the back because I noticed it was looking a little bumpy in the front. I have work in a few hours and my hair is pretty much ready to go for the next few days. So we're good on that front. I don't know. I like it for now. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, thank you guys for watching my mini twist slash beads tutorial on blown out hair. I'm not really sure why my hair shrunk up as soon as I did these twists because like on blown out hair, you would expect the hair to be the length of your blowout and the length of my blowout was down here. And yes, I did trim about an inch off, but like should make it up to here at least, but it went all the way back up. And I don't know if it's because I put gel on the ends, because to be honest, gel does still have water in it. At least this one does. So I'm looking at the ingredients, and yeah, water is the first ingredient, which means that there's lots of water in this product. But, I mean, it was able to lay down my roots, but then, I don't know, I guess it ended up shrinking up my hair more because of the water content in it. So, that's just the reality of that. I was a little disappointed with that, because I was hoping that with beads and with the twisting, I would be able to still keep the length of my blowout, but that did not happen. So, oh well. So yeah, tonight I have work, so I might just put on some lashes and kind of like mature it up a little bit. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you again for watching, and always remember, natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. Bye. <laughs>